Welcome to Discussing Dead Life, where we break down bullshit so you don't have to. I'm Void, this is No, and let's go. Welcome to Wellspring Wednesdays. I just got myself into trouble. How? Now we're going to have to talk about aliens. You got to speak up and into the mic. Now we're going to have to talk about aliens. Yeah. Um, why don't we give a quick shout out to our sponsor? Our sponsor is Moo and her business, Candle Time. And my other business partner. Yes. Moo one, Moo two. Yeah. Um, this is just to let you guys know if you didn't watch Tuesdays. Mondays. Mondays, you got to go watch that. And this this is the famous Moo that I always talk about. That's my favorite stuffed animal. Yes. Out of my, all my stuffed animals. Yeah. Okay. Do your sponsor spot, please. Um. What four, ca- what four cents you have? The four... So I was just about to do. So the four cents that we have in stock right now, which you can find on buycandletime.net. Buycandletime.net. Link is in the description. I don't know what that is, but okay. The link is the, in the, the description. The link for the website is in the description for the video. That's what that means. Mm. What cents are do you have? Um, the sense that we have is Sea Breeze. Sea that's Breeze. That's pretty good. Um, <coughs> Lake Shore. That's pretty good. Coconut. That's pretty good. His favorite. And then my all-time favorite, Peach, which <laughs> you definitely very much need to buy unless you're allergic. So, okay. Today, we are going to cover, well, uh... Two topics, um, and you can yeah. thank Moo for the second topic because she just brought it up right as we were starting yeah. the recording. <laughs> I got myself in a ditch. So the first topic we were going to talk about is um, the importance of being true to yourself, true to your word. And uh, so um, in my mind, um, I'm going to go ahead and screen share and I'm going to pull up two definitions for you. Honesty is the first one. Uh, honesty is the quality of being honest. Um, honesty is the best policy. Honesty is the best policy. It, it's something I try to live by, and I try to encourage people to live by. Um, but I'm human, which means obviously we're gonna lie. We we there we all have our downfalls, and we all fail to live up to the standards that we want to put in. Um, but honesty is one of my greatest values that I value uh, in people and I value in myself but um, I definitely definitely don't always hit the mark on that one why are you giving me that look (laughs) I don't know and then along with uh, (laughs) honesty is integrity integrity is the quality of being honest and having strong moral principles or moral upright just or rightness Um, so those are kind of the two um, big ones that I think tie into it, which is, you know, we all have this persona that we're trying to live up to. Um, and we all want to be a positive force in the world and those people around us. Um, sometimes we fail. And unfortunately, when you fail, uh, just owning up to it is a big part of it. Um, and that kind of ties back into um, being true to yourself. Because if you, if you fail and you try covering it up, then you're not being true to yourself. You're not being honest. You know, you're not showing that integrity, right? Does that make sense, this? Mm-hmm. So I was hoping to get your thoughts on, do I try to instill this with you and your brothers? Instill what? Being honest, doing the right thing. Think about your, think about your older brother, the producer. How many times do I have to tell him, to be honest. 10,000 times a day. Yeah. It's something that I push really hard on him. Um, and he can't get correct, pretty much. There, There is background story um, that I'm not wanting to share, per se, um, publicly. Uh, but there were there were, there there was definitely some things that... Um, that caused the issue. Uh, so he... he from, uh, let's just say that when he was younger, he was forced to start um, concealing things. Otherwise, 
he would get in trouble um, and it was not okay. Um, and once I started seeing it, um, I started trying to stop it, but uh, the habit had already been formed and it's something that I've been working on for eight-ish years now trying to, to rectify. Um, you're you're pretty you're pretty honest about everything you're pretty you're pretty trustworthy and i'm a good kid or i try to be you know and your little brother is too small to really understand right now and he doesn't really lie about lots of stuff no he he owns up when he, he when he does make mis- when he he owns up to it pretty quick so yeah like who did that we did you know he obviously he doesn't like do like it. the baby steps right so um what what do you think about like the people around you in your life? Like, um, do you think that they're pretty honest with you? Sometimes. Sometimes, yeah. Pe- people, there are some people out there that just lie about everything. There's then there's different levels of lying. There's white lies. You're just trying to avoid hurting feelings. I lie to be funny. Like, yeah, I you can, you funny can. lie. Like, sometimes I tell my friends I'm going to dye my hair pink. Yeah. And like, I'm not hurting anyone. I'm just lying <coughs> that I'm going to dye my hair pink. I would never go. Would yeah. Be. But the simple fact is, is um, if, if you want to sh- build strong relationships, it doesn't matter what kind of relationship, relationship with your child, relationship with your spouse, relationship with your friends. A lot of those relationships are uh, are founded on truthfulness and and being upfront and um, like sometimes fun like sometimes you funny lie. I I do funny lie sometimes with you guys. Yeah, like when I was little, I wanted a hamster for my birthday, and you and I was I'm still deadly afraid of spiders, and I was deadly like I was a scared. I did not like spiders. And you said that you were going to buy me a scorpion, not a scorpion. Tarantula. Tarantula. Yeah, I remember that. <laughs> it scared me so bad. If, if you on have, my birthday, I if, actually got a hand. If, if you're listening with children right now, you might want to have them earmuffs. And it, yeah. <laughs> um, because one of the best, uh, one of the funniest things I think that I did with my kids um, is... Lying who's about my our birthday presents? Well, not lying about your birthday presents. Uh, I do that so that way you guys are a little surprised. Is uh, who's my arch nemesis? Santa Claus. (laughs) One time, I remember one time the Santa Claus bought him, got him, not bought, got him like, like screw set or something like that. Yeah. And he hid it in the tree and we couldn't find the, we couldn't find my dad's present for months. (laughs) Not months. Not months, but like... Until we took the tree down. Like weeks. Yeah. Because we usually keep our tree up for a while when my mom lived with us. Or when mom was here. And one day, me and my producer brother go over to go like... um, We like messing around with the tree. So we were going to go mess around with the tree before you took it out. And me and producer, we find a little tiny... Not tiny... But we find about, like, this big of a package. Like. Yeah. It, it's about it's about the size of this. Yeah, it was about the size of that um, package in, in our tree. Like, it was stuck in there. Like, no one could see it. But we were just going like this through our tree, looking in all the branches um, to see if we left any candy canes. And we found a little package. So... He, he still got his Christmas present, but it was hidden. It was like two weeks after Christmas. <laughs> it was hilarious. Um, Late Christmas present. Yeah. It was hilarious. No. Yeah. Yeah. So oh. it, it, it is important. <laughs> it is important to, uh, to, to stay truthful, stay truthful, to, to, to do your best with it. Right. Um, Try not to lie. Yeah. It's, it's very important. I try not to keep anything from you kids. You know, that's age appropriate, right? Mm-hmm. Um, but, again, we're all human. I, 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 I know I'm preaching to to do these things, um, but we're all human. I, you know as well as I that we're all going to have our shortcomings and we're all going to do dumb things. And 
sometimes uh you know that it, it happens and uh y- y- i i would recommend to own up to it you know um you know we i i've talked openly about the mistakes i've made in my past uh void did as well um and when i say we we have to build our character and have to own those kinds of things is own it you know you, you don't need to shy away from it i mean it, it it develops who we are and um if you don't own up to it and you you know you don't grow from it you don't learn from it then obviously you're you're you have some work to do on yourself because um as as i'm trying to teach the kids um y- you have to grow or in Mumu's case, she has to hold up the Mandalorian and Grogu. <laughs> okay, so we're gonna switch topics now, and y- you can go ahead and go ahead and introduce why we're gonna bring this up right now. Because you're short. Speak into the mic and speak loud. Don't be a Sherry. Uh, we don't want to talk about it. We're we're gonna talk about it. Uh-huh. So she said, "I like your shirt. It's a nice shirt." And it's my alien. And I said, aliens exist. And she said, aliens do not exist. So we're going to have this conversation. Mm. I have no proof that aliens exist. But what I do have is... You know what? Aliens exist. Topic over. Let's get, <laughs> let's, mm, yeah. Well, think about it like this, sis. How many stars can you see in the nighttime at the sky? Thousands. Millions. Yeah, there's, there's millions of stars out there. Those are called gas clouds. What are called glass clouds? Stars. No, stars are stars. Gas clouds are nebulas. Those are, those are called, stars are pretty much gas. It's a big ball of gas that's burning. Yeah. Yes, mm-hmm. that is accurate. That's a star. But, but a cloud in, in space that's made up of gas is called a nebula. That's where planets are formed. Planets okay, and stars are born. Okay, and that's our Spanish topic. But. Not Spanish. But the, what 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 I'm trying to say is because of how many stars there are, the simple fact is that there. It, it, yes, in my there mind, could, here, I'll, we did do something on science that there could be other life. There are they there is there is other universes probably, and upon those universes, there's probably aliens or something like that. But so far in our universe, which is our universe. People have not seen any aliens. Nope, nope. We have no direct evidence of aliens. Mathematically nope. speaking, I would say that mm-hmm. I would wager money that there are aliens. What they look like, who they are, have no idea. Um, hey, well, how do you know aliens look like that? They could be. They they, could they be might like, look like this. They might. They could not. be like pale white, kind of like how I look right now. They might be a blob of. A, they might be a like blob a of goo that's. Yeah. Black and white. They yeah. might look like a cow. Maybe there is silicone-based life forms. Maybe they're Pokemon. Or a silica-based life forms. Did that hurt? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> no, not really, but yeah. Yeah. Maybe maybe it's superheroes. Yeah. Maybe it's fourth-dimensional beings. Maybe it's fart clouds. Yeah. There, there's a bunch of possibilities out there. I have I, but I don't have the answers. But it's fun to, to speculate. Yeah. I leave it as. I want a planet full of bananas and fruit. <laughs> I leave it as is there, that there's a mathematical probability that we are not alone in the universe. Now, does that mean that we'll ever meet anybody, any any other life forms? Yes, we probably, probably might. not. We I mean, might. We might. Let, I mean, we we have speed is the issue, right? Like the, to get to the closest. I thought you were talking about the YouTuber speed. I'm like, speed's the issue. No, speed's the issue getting between space travel or for space travel, right? Because as of right because now... Because of one light year, um, it's four human years. Hey, I did that right. Interesting. One to four? Usually I do it one to three. I, but I don't understand what you're talking about. One like, light year is four years. No. Yeah. One light year represents the distance that light travels in a year. Yeah, and... For a human, one light year is four years. No. Yes. One year is one year. No, one light year is four human years. No, it's not. Yes. 
No. Yeah. I, that that is not accurate. Sis. Yes, it is. That is not accurate. Yes, it is. I'm gonna. Is one light year equal to four human years? That is something I have never heard. <laughs> we looked it up. I am absolutely positive. By Specifically, the distance light travels in one year's time, and the time is a year on Earth. So a light year is always a year on Earth. What? Yes. That's what wow. I'm trying to say, is a light year is a measurement of distance. Well, is some it, type it, of year, because my classmate said, um, did you know one year and something is four years in human years? And it was something to do with space, because that's what we were on. And my teacher and her both looked it up, and it both had the exact same answer that said yes. Yeah, that's not accurate, sis. I'm, what? Yeah. A light year. Here, I'll show you. Um, oh, four light years is equal to four human years. Yeah. Oh, ow, ow, ow. How far is a light year? 5.879 E plus 12 miles. Oh, dang. Five trillion eight hundred and seventy eight million six hundred twenty or billion six hundred twenty five million three hundred and seventy thousand miles. Nine point five trillion lot. kilometers is what light will travel in one year. So the closest star, I believe, is I, I believe it's four point or is it, it's either 4.5 light years from us or 7.5, which means it takes light from that star four and a half years or seven and a half years, whatever it is, to reach us. And we do not have the capability of even getting to light speed. So the closest star to us, if we did have the capability of hitting light speed, is still four and a half years from us. That's why I'm talking about like... That's, if, what, it, that's, that's what they were talking about. Okay. <laughs> um, but w what I'm trying to get at is even if there is intelligent life out there, if there are aliens, it comes down to the simple fact that speed is the issue of whether or not humans in an alien species could ever meet. Because if, if the, if they've developed speed that's faster than light travel, um, they're so far technologically advanced than us that would they really even have an interest in coming and visiting us? Right. That, that's kind of where it goes with all this. Fatality. Aliens. Why would it be a fatality? Because I don't want to die. Aliens would probably kill us. <laughs> that, that's one theory that's out there. Other thing is they could come and help us breach technological advancements, <gasps> right? They could bring yummy fruit that we've never had. Yeah. See? So it could be I a... Flawless victory. I Excellent. I hope it's a... Flawless victory. Excellent. I personally wish we had Goku's power and just... <laughs> <laughs> teleported now we're using the buttons yeah when it doesn't even make sense it does make sense instant transmission being able to maybe this is how we would talk to the aliens yeah maybe we just bring it outside connect it to a solar panel solar panel collects sunlight to produce energy and on a solar panel What's satellite the... satellite and then just keep talking to them mm, could be did you know that we actually broadcast signals to space yeah, to yeah. try and find aliens. Yeah, so we have there's, there's two different ways that we're doing that. One is we're sending signals out trying to communicate, and, and, the, then, and then we also have saddle uh, listening dishes around the planet that actually listen for signals from mm -hmm. outside. Uh, yeah, we did a science thing on that. We did an entire science thing that had like eight things, like little science things to do, like mystery science. Interesting. From Doug. Interesting. Doug. 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 Um. I hope the. I hope if if we do find aliens that I am still alive and that, and that I'm not an old granny <laughs> and that they bring me some yummy food. Yeah. Yeah. Like a like a pink banana. Sorry, <gasps> I just thought of something and I need to check on it because I forgot. Okay. Well, in the meantime, I'm gonna dance for them. <laughs> in the end, 
gonna give you this. I don't know if I'm doing it right. I can't see myself. Let's hope we're doing it right. Sorry, I'm trying to check something out because I. I okay, yeah, I'm good. I'm good. Can we go back to the normal screen? Oh, yeah, I'm sorry. Well, we're on the normal screen. I was just, uh, you just wanted to see your hand up there. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Apologize. I, I, I have some stuff. I got, I got, I have a, such a busy week this week. Um, I was, I was out of the country. Um, I got back late last, uh, on Sunday night. Um, yeah. Like yesterday. Monday morning, 3 a.m. Um, yesterday finally got back to the house. Me what? At yesterday you called me at the airport. Yeah. Saying that you were not going to be able to pick us up because your fight flight got delayed. No, canceled. Canceled. And then I had to spend a crap ton of money buying a one-way flight to get back when I did. In time to see us. Yeah, just to spend basically a half a day with you guys. Yeah, Because tomorrow I'm, I'm, I'm swamped. I got meetings and then I got to leave town again. Um, and then I'm not going to be back till Friday. But I, to I, come pick us up. Yep, yeah, pick you guys up, pick up the producer, pick up the doggo. Also, and then I we'll actually have a good weekend together. Wait, will we be here? Yes, as of right now, the plan is. You just said I was picking you up on Friday. Oh yeah, I did. Yeah, it's not supposed. It's not typically the normal weekend, but we I had to change adjust weekends because I was out of the country. Are you going to be busy that weekend? What weekend? Next weekend? Yeah. No, we're all going to be busy. We got to get the lawn up to date. Dang it. Um, and then I got some other things that we're going to start working on too outside. And you're going to help too. It's not just going to be me and the producer. It's going to be you too. But you two are the strong ones. Yeah, but you got life lessons we need to teach you. So that way you're, you. I know life lessons. I I. I what I'm saying is there's. I there's live with mom. There's things that we we can do that you can help out with, um. So that way you know how to do it. Does it mean you're ever going to do it? Not necessarily. It just means like I want you to be able to see it and have the experience with it. So that way, if you do find yourself in a position where you need to do it, you can do it. Don't worry about it. You'll be just fine. You're not. It's not going to be labor too too laborious. <laughs> All right. Me? Shout out your uh, web page one, one more time. Wait. Wait, what? I need to. I for, what did I need to say? I was going to say something. Oh, yeah. Never mind. Never mind. You good? Golden? I remembered it, but yeah. Never mind. Okay. Shout out your website one more time. Not not your sense, just your just your website. If you guys are interested in buying a candle, what? Buycandletime.net. Buycandletime.net. Make sure you get the peach. Yeah. Links in the description. Mm-hmm. Till next time. Till next time. Peace. Thank you for watching. Please give us a like, share, and subscribe. Till then. Peace. peace.